Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, last night I had a very obscure dream that at this point I can only remember like half of, but because of said dream it kind of got me thinking about like the symbolism behind dreams. A lot of people have a tendency to take them very literally um, and say, oh you dreamed about um, I don't know, kissing another dude. So you must be gay. So I, 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 I don't know. That's not true, by the way. People who have dreams, maybe one or two percent of the time, they're actual literal, but the rest of it's normally symbolic. Anyways, because of this concept, it got me thinking. What are the outward meanings of different types of dreams? Well, I wasn't ever able to find every single detail, but let me get into um, like kind of the behind the scenes aspect of this kind of thing. First of all, when someone's asleep, when do dreams occur? Well, for one, there are four stages of sleep. The first one, you're basically still wide awake. You might be daydreaming or something, but that's about it. It's basically lost in thought but being feeling a little bit drowsy. The second stage, you're starting to go to sleep, but you're still very well aware of your surroundings. Stage three, you're dead asleep, but everything's black. You're kind of, your brain is still tiny bit active, but not enough to keep you awake or anything, or conscious of anything going on. Basically, kind of like what a coma does. Sometimes. At least at the start of it. I don't know. I can't really say that, actually, because I've never been in a coma. But anyway, then there's a fourth stage. It's called REM, or Rapid Eye Movement. Basically, the idea behind this stage is that your brain is still very active, but you are dead asleep. Dreams usually, the, when someone says, a, I had a dream last night, they're referring to that point in time of sleep. Usually what happens after REM, you wake up. It's a little bit weird because during REM sleep, there are certain things you figure out, certain things you don't. But it's always symbolic, as I said at the beginning of this. Now, dreams always vary in length. Um, the ones that are usually easier to recall are usually the shorter ones for some weird reason. At least for me. Maybe for others it's not the case, but at least for me... Shorter dreams are easier to recall. Longer ones, I think, are just harder just because there's more detail that's easiest based on. The more the details, the, 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 the more details added to a dream, the more you forget about it because, I mean, you wake up and for the most part, people can't remember dreams anyway. That's probably why it's because there's so much detail involved in said dreams. I mean, but they do always have a tendency to vary between 20 and 30 minutes anyway. But anyway, I guess there are several different meanings for dreams. I mean, it really kind of depends, but I'll just go on a couple different dream types um, just to kind of give a short... idea of how dreams aren't literal, but they're more symbolic. For some reason, any kids watching this, avert now. If you don't understand that word, then just don't watch the rest of this. You've been warned. So, the only reason I say this is because what I'm about to talk about, what I'm about to bring up is something that can be interpreted wrong or 
may not be understood if you don't get the topic. We good? Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, dreams of violence. There are a couple different meanings for this. For one, um, dreaming, there could be different variants. First of all, um, natural disasters, when it causes violence and it just is very destructive. If you dream about that kind of thing, well, you feel like something has gone out of control, out of your hand. That can never be a good sign. If you start dreaming, like for example, say you, you're, uh, this is out of the blue, this is, when, when I create these things, by the way, they're just coming out of the nick of nowhere. Um, say you dream about a tornado hitting while you're trying to have dinner with the family. It probably in this case means that there's something in regards to someone you care about, whether family or friends or whatever, that you just don't seem to have a grasp of, that you feel like something's out of control between you and those individuals. Dreaming about committing violence is completely different. It can mean one of two things. One, you're angry about something. If the, that's the case, what is it? If it's not that, then there's also a second option to that. It could also mean that you aren't accepting about a part of yourself. If you've had a dream about, well, I don't know, you get in a random fight with another individual. There's something about yourself that you don't accept, or you have anger on your mind for some weird reason. Finally, there are dreams as well. Where it could be where you have experienced violence yourself. If you dream that like you're a victim of a, like a, a crime of violence or something, you're probably scared. You're afraid of something. IRL. If that's the case, what is it? Now there are a couple other dream types like violence against children or family, but you get the point of that one. I want to move on to one other example that I'm aware of to get spare a bit of time for the video for that. And this next one, that first one was one reason why I said be wary of this part. This next one is definitely, especially towards children who are too young to understand this. Dreams about sex. Yeah. So there are different meanings for this kind of thing. This is, when I had a dream way, like I think it was like, I don't even remember how long ago I had the first dream involving this. I questioned why I dreamed about it, and that's when I first started learning about the symbolism of dreams. It was a dream about me hitting it off with one of my siblings, my sister. I have never IRL seen her bear, which never will either. I looked up the reason, why in the world would have I have dreamed about that? I had no desire to do that kind of thing. It would have felt very, very wrong. It still would now, especially because of this and because it's just, you know, weird and wrong, but I digress. Why did I dream about that? Well, I looked it up and there are, I found so many different types of dreams about sex on there that I'm just going to list a couple of them. For one, that one. Having, when, when you have a dream about hitting it off with a sibling, it means you look up to the individual. If you were to have a dream about hitting it off with 
a significant other, that's a deep, deep sign that you actually do care about the individual more than anything else. I should probably point out there are a couple different significant other ones. That one I just listed is when you're doing it with a girlfriend or wife and fiance as well. There's one other type of significant other that I never have understood. Friends with benefits. In a way, that's a significant other, uh, but in a way not. That's It's more of a, well, as it says, a really, really, really close friend. So, let's put it that way instead. Significant others, it means you love them very, very dearly. And I've actually had those kind of dreams as well. The other, though, it just means you're very lustful. If you're having dreams about someone who you know, who you're friends with, and you start having dreams about doing it with them, you're just really lustful. There are many others. Like before, I'm not going to go too much into detail, I'm just using these as very good examples of kind of, of dreams that I've experienced um, that get my mind thinking about dreams but and their symbolism and why I find interest in them. Now, there is one more thing I do want to bring up. One thing I find very interesting that's very cultural is the history of dream interpretation. This is probably why a lot of people don't always think very, oh, the dream actually means something-ish, because the history itself is a 5,000-year-long history. So, there is that. Not a lot of people consider, what did they think 5,000 years ago? It must apply now. In this case, it does, because the brains and, it, and its actions don't exactly change because of time. Which is strange, because you'd figure it would, but it doesn't. Um, and I should point out the reference I'm... Where, according to the ASA, or the American Sleep Association, um, I quote, Going back around 5,000 years ago in Mesopotam Mesopotamia, I think I'm saying that right, the earliest recorded dreams were documented on clay tablets. In the Roman and Greek periods, people believed that dreams were messages sent directly from one or more deities from deceased people, and that they were the pred predictors of the future. Then there were cultures that practiced dream incubation, their intention being to cultivate dreams of prophecy. End quote. This got me thinking, so how did it transition from message telling to symbolism? Simple. Mythology. Scientists probably thought about it and went, oh, wait. People interpret it that way, but those gods never actually existed, and it's been proven on the front that those gods never did. Somehow. I don't know. But, so the scientists went and pretty much said, so what would have those dreams actually meant? Let's compare historical events to the dreams that were actually made on document. As I said, they were made on clay tablets, so they must have found some kind of record of them. So, that's kind of what led to the idea, and it's been proven so many times nowadays that, yeah, it must be the case, of dreams actually being symbolic and actually meaning something. Dreams and their symbolism can be a big thing. They can go a long way. And it's something that I've found very deep interest in. It's the past almost 15 minutes I haven't given that away. But 
not going to go too much more on a tangent on this. What do you guys think? Uh, did you guys learn anything in the video that was presented today? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any other discussion rant type videos that we have done on this channel? Click the link on the side of my head where you'll find over 200 videos. As of this point, at least. If you watch this in the distant future, you can find maybe over a thousand videos on there. But, we'll see. If that's not quite what you're looking for, why not check the link on the other side of my head where YouTube will give you something that you may enjoy. Not that either? Okay, check out the channel itself where we have over a thousand videos as of when I upload this. Maybe you'll find something across all of those there. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning into this video, guys, and I hope to see... Why did I do that? Thank you guys for tuning into this video once more, and we hope to catch all of you in another one. See you guys later. Oops.